Hey guys, it's Cream here. I have a, a guest visitor today. Her name's Kaya. This is our new puppy. Um, today for you guys, I have a really cool science experiment that you can do at home. It's about, it takes about a minute long and it's really simple. Um, so this one is called Ferromagnetic Fluid. You can, it's a very confusing name. You can make up your own name for it. Um, but all you're gonna need is a glass of water. Um, if you don't have a glass jar that is sealable, which is ideal for this, cause you don't want it spilling out or anything like that. Um, you can use a water bottle and just tighten the cap or anything else that is that can be sealed but that doesn't leak is ideal because you're going to want to keep this in a jar um, and you can keep it around. You can play with this whenever, keep it in your room or whatever you like. It's just a really cool uh, nifty thing that you can pick up once in a while and play with uh, if you're bored. So all we're going to need for this is a tablespoon. Um, we're going to package some of this iron oxide. Uh, it's a chemical to... Um, change the color of paint but it is it just so happens to be magnetic so when you put a magnet beside it um, when it's in water it will react um, and it looks very cool um, so we can go ahead and just take our spoon first of all and all we need is a about two tablespoons will be perfect and you can just drop that into your jar right here so I'll start off by doing that uh, for me, actually, one tablespoon will be just fine. Yeah, that'll, that'll be enough for me. Um, so once you get this into your jar, you're going to want to let it sit for about an hour and just make sure it all floats to the bottom. Um, I'm going to seal mine right now while Kaya chews on our couch. And... I'm having a bit of difficulty. All right, so we have our sealed jar. It has our, uh, it's called ferromagnetic fluid in it now. So we are also gonna send you guys with some magnets, which I am about to show you. So you can take out a magnet and simply all you need to do is just put the magnet beside the jar. You're not gonna put it inside the jar because then this uh, black powder will get stuck to the magnet. It's very hard to get off um, because it is magnetized to it. But all we're gonna do is just put our magnet right beside the jar. And slowly you will see more and more of the powder inside is gravitating towards this magnet. It looks really cool. It's almost spiky. But now, since I've put the magnet beside, a lot of the particles that were floating at the top of the water, making it look really dark, are floating to the bottom and near the magnet. So it's kind of easier to clear the water and get everything to sink down if you just kind of drag the magnet down slowly. But I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is gravitating towards the magnet. You can see it. It's gravitating towards a magnet. You can pull it up the jar, sort of. And once the water has, uh, high time to sit and the particles fall down to the bottom um, and you can actually get a clear view of it. It does look really spiky or kind of freaky. It looks like slime, but it definitely isn't. Um, but this is a very cool experiment that I like. Uh, yeah, so if it works for you guys, feel free to share it with Canterbury. We'd love to see some photos and yeah, have fun trying it out at home.